In this video, we are going to look at the aqua planning analysis with the Civil 3D software. Uh, usually, the Civil 3D basic software does not give this functionality, but this can be done through Australia and New Zealand country kit. Uh, in this first part, I will explain what is aqua planning. So, this analysis is based on guide to road design part 5a road surface network basins and subsurface road 2003 guideline so basically aqua planning means when a vehicle is traveling on the road at a rainy season there may be a film of water on the road surface which separates the tire and road surface with each other so if the water film thickness is too much and the speed of the vehicle is high there may be a situation that the driver will lose control of the uh, vehicle because of this water film thickness so this phenomenon is called aqua planning so in this Ostroad guideline they have an equation adopted in the uh, guideline to calculate uh, aqua planning effect so it is called Galloway formula uh, derived in 1979 so it gives you like the water film depth in millimeters and the average payment texture depth using a table we can get it and the length of drainage path we have to uh, obtain it and the rainfall intensity of that area and the slope of, slope of drainage path we need to know but uh, in case of civil 3d uh, it will automatically calculate the water film depth and the texture will be calculated from a table in Ostrot and length will be automatically calculated from civil 3d and rainfall intensity we have to give manually depending on the uh, site and slope of the drainage path will also be calculated by civil 3d automatically so about the texture depth the texture depth depending on the uh, type of material used in the uh, wearing course surface in the road so depending on the material we are using we have to use these parameters in this calculation or in this analysis we are using dense graded asphalt 10 millimeter or larger with dense graded asphalt so the texture depth is 0 0.4 to 0 0.8 then about the rainfall intensity so the research has shown that uh, if the driver reaches a, if the driver experience a rainfall about 50 millimeters per hour he automatically reduced the driving speed on a road so that is a basic uh, assumption we are going to use in this aqua planning analysis so if you have rainfall intensity data uh, for one year five minute duration using ifd curves you can use that one otherwise you have to use 50 millimeters per hour uh, maximum rainfall intensity for the calculations so the limiting values for hydro uh, planning for aqua planning the water film depth would be uh, for hydro planning or aqua planning the water film depth should be uh, 4 millimeters so if the analysis gives you a water film depth more than 4 millimeters or water film depth more than 4 millimeters so that is uh, result that that area is prone to aqua planning on the other hand there will be a partial hydro planning if the water film depth is around uh, 2.5 millimeters so that is the basic things about aqua planning now we will go to civil 3d to do the aqua planning analysis before going to civil 3d we have to know that civil 3d country kit for australia and new zealand will is is having this uh, add-on or uh, report to get the aqua planning analysis it is called drip so before uh, running civil 3d you have to install the uh, australia and new zealand country kit in your uh, civil 3d version that is uh, the version related to your civil 3d now here we have to download the civil 3d country kit for australia and new zealand so we have to select the correct version according to our civil 3d so it is we have having the country kit up to 2022 version so in my case i will be running this to 2020 uh, version of civil 3d so you have to download the country kit from here this msi file and install it then you have if you need you have the country kit documentation here so after installing this one you will get a uh, desktop shortcut with the australia and new zealand country kit so you have to 
download uh, you have to open the civil 3d with that shortcut to run this uh, echo planning analysis so we will move on to civil 3d now now i am in a civil 3d drawing uh, here you can see there is a uh, road surface in this drawing so if i click here you can see my road surface is there called aqua planning surface so i have in this surface i have uh, several uh, several lane arrangement there we have the outer shoulder then we have the travel lanes two travel lanes then inner shoulder set median left side and right side and on the right side also we have the same lane arrangement so if i get the slopes of the road surface here you can see on this side to this direction i have a five percent slope that means i have plus five uh, slope like uh, plus five super elevation and from the outer shoulder i have a minus two so if you think about the water flow direction plus five means water will flow downwards from this side and to this side it will go outside the uh, road so if i move on somewhere forward in this side my slope is minus 2.5 a super elevation with minus 2.5 which means the uh, water is flowing to the other side and for the shoulder water is flowing again to the outside so in between in this side we are the water is coming inside the road and here the water is going outside the road so in between there is a location where water path changes because this this side we have this direction this side we have this direction so in between there is a location where water path changes so first we have to identify that kind of location so the easiest way to identify those location is from the contour map contour map so we have to select the surface then go to surface properties uh, currently the normal surface a contour map would won't allow you to show the uh, contour difference between this high slope location and uh, in the slope variation so let us say if i use this contour map you can see you cannot see any contour difference here you cannot identify the contour changing so in that case you have to create a new surface style where you get a smaller contour intervals so i will create a new surface style where i get a smaller contour interval first i will go to boundary border only surface style then i get a copy of that one click here and go to copy current selection then for there i will rename it as contour point two five major and 0 0.05 minor right then i am going to the uh, contours tab there for contour intervals i will use major minor interval 0 0.05 major interval 0 0.25 right that means my major interval major interval is five times minor interval so there I, then i go to display tab because i need to turn on the major contours and minor contours currently is a turned off now i click ok so it will activate here as surface style then i click ok now you will see uh, my contours are uh, having a, a closer interval now you can see from this point to this point there is a certain change in the contour so uh, to check where aqua planning occurs the easiest way to check the contour uh, gap in the contours if you have higher gaps in the contours that means that location is prone to have aqua planning effect so you can see in this location there, there may be a aqua planning effect so the next thing is you have to know what is the longest path of the aqua planning because if you you, you don't know what is the longest path here first you need to identify a longest path so first you need to select the surface then go to water drop then you have to click ok to get the water drop and you have to 
click somewhere here uh, drop your water drop then it will move like this so it will uh, move around uh, move along the surface so you have to uh, have some water drops and find the longest path so in the first case the path is going uh, all all towards the surface so that is not a, the longest path so uh, in my case I have to select a water path that comes here and that comes to the center median location and goes back into this location and going out from the surface so you can see somewhere here I have a longest path so I have to select that first so I will uh, select similar everything and delete this one so this is how you have to select the longest path so after selecting the longest path you have to delete the other things without the longest path so in my case I will delete all these things because I have already created the longest path and isolated it now I will un I will end the object isolation so you can see this is my longest longest path I have selected the longest path Path. So before doing the aqua planning analysis, you have to select the lower longest path. Right now we have selected the longest path using water drop analysis. So after that, what you have to do is you have to go to toolbox here. You have to go to toolbox here. There you have Australia and New Zealand report manager. So this will only comes when you open the civil 3D with that. Australia and New Zealand country kit shortcut otherwise it will not come so you have to make sure you have opened this uh, software using the country kit shortcut so I am going here and go to ANZ tools and there you have drip that is the one for aqua planning there you have to right click and go to execute so it is asking what is the surface used to uh, do the aqua planning so I have only one surface and it is asking the starting coordinate of the water drop so once you since you have already known the water drop starting place I will click here and I will snap to this end point this is where my water drop starts so you can see it automatically going outward after selecting the first point I will press enter then it is asking for a feature line so currently I don't have a feature line here so I have to select a point for feature line so feature line means where the water drop ends so as I told you earlier I have a uh, minus I have the lane here and shoulder here so the uh, vehicles will be traveling on the uh, lane so I will stop my water drop from this point so I have to create a feature line at this point so I go here create a feature line from object and I will select this line uh, to get the feature line and press right click and enter so it will give me the feature line dialog box so I will click here to assign elevation so also and I will assign elevation from the uh, aqua planning surface and click OK. So after some time it will create the feature line like here. Then what I do is from the aqua planning point code terminator you have to select this feature line where you need to stop the uh, drainage line. So I'll click here and select this one. Then this uh, feature line is selected. So intersection number is how many times your uh, water drop will intersect this line in this case it will intersect only one time if you need multiple times to intersect intersect this line you can use multiple times so I will use one time usually you will get one time intersection in aqua planning but sometimes there may be multiple times for the texture depth we have to use uh, a value from the table I showed you earlier depending on the wearing core surface so I will uh, use 0.4 here since I don't have rainfall intensity data or IFD data I will use 50 millimeters as maximum then I will use the uh, speed of the road as 
100 kilometers per hour and friction demand is high then what you have to do is uh, the limiting value is 4 as i told you earlier what i have what you have to do is to click here drip so once you click drip it will show you my aqua planning depth is more than 4 millimeters so uh, in that that means this road section this road section is prone to aqua planning so i have to uh, do something to uh, lower the aqua planning effect so in design wise what you can do is uh, the best thing is you can do is increase the uh, vertical gradient of this road section so other than that you can see this line this water drop line has several colors that means in this area water drop thickness is lower and there you have a moderate water film thickness and in this area you have a high water film thickness that means you will uh, more prone to have uh, aqua planning effect if the severe condition here of the vehicles are more prone to have accident in this area this uh, red color means your uh, water film thickness is more than four millimeters uh, apart from that you can get a report from the aqua planning from here if you click report it will open an excel report about the aqua planning status in this section so i'll click report here so here you can see the aqua planning uh, report here so it gives your data uh, rain, uh, design speed rainfall density texture depth and friction demand and also it will give uh, a thickness water film depth report at a certain uh, distance from the starting point so you can see our total section length is 40.87 meters and at certain levels you can see the water film depth so as you can see at the end of the part the water film depth is more than four millimeters which is given by a red color so it will give you a flow path profile as well so this is how to do a aqua planning analysis with civil 3d using the australia and new zealand country kit so this analysis is uh, solely based on the australian standard